الله وبركاته. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله. May Allah make us amongst the people of Jannah say Amin. Amin. It is my pleasure to welcome you all tonight to the special Ramadan gathering with Sheikh Mufti Ismail Naik, which I'm sure many of you have been eagerly. My name is Suleiman Ba because he smiles a lot, he can be funny and quick on his feet, and we love him. And all of this he does to spread the beautiful message of Islam. I know you're excited, so I'm not going to keep you waiting much longer. But before we begin, we need to know deeply how to enjoy this kind of worship from different dimensions. This evening we will be talking about the art of dua or supplication and I just want to share something with you that is amazing. As I was coming in, one of the duas that I had to make was Allahumma hawa alayna wa la alayna. I had to say, oh Allah, the rain that is coming, let it be around us and not upon us. It's a sunnah dua of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So inshallah, if we make that dua, perhaps we will be able to complete whatever we have to do this evening before inshallah it starts pouring by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, Allah Almighty created us in a unique way. It is something that really is worth pondering over. I always say none of us are here as a result of us wanting to be here on earth, but rather we were placed here without us having a say in whether or not we wanted to come onto the earth in the first place. And for this reason, we know that there is a supreme power and deity that definitely is in control. May Allah Almighty have mercy on us. Similarly, none of us will leave because we want to leave, but rather the Almighty will decide when to take us away. So He put us here without asking us, and He will take us away without asking us. In the process, Allah Almighty, many other people, you can check the social experiments. You go to a man and you tell him, you know what? And he's on the street. You say, can I please have a dollar? I'm in need, I'm hungry. He'll look into his pocket and say, here goes, take it. And you look at him and say, but don't you? And he says, I need it, but you're hungrier than I am. What do you have in your pocket? Don't worry, I'll get another dollar just now. But sometimes you go to a person who has a lot and they just keep walking and they don't, they don't even want to look in your direction. I'm not saying they are bad. Maybe they've had a bad experience. Maybe they give a lot of charity and donation that you don't know and they don't want to do it in a haphazard way. All of that in its place. But take a look at the heart of the one who doesn't really have much. He's ready to give. With us, Allah says, you want from me? Are you going to care for others whom I have created? And they are in a worse scenario than you are. I'm asking Allah, oh Allah, help me, help me sleep at night. Beautiful dua. Oh Allah, help me sleep at night. Grant me good sleep in a way that I can get up for Salatul Fajr, mashallah. You know, not sleep that you're going to sleep all the way to seven o'clock, get up for work. What happened to Fajr? Allah, I asked Allah to give me sleep. I'm sure he'll forgive me. You know, Allah always says, uh, through the lips of Nabi Muhammad whoever sleeps over a prayer or forgets it should actually make it up as soon as they remember. So Allah will not hold against me the fact that I was asleep. Hang on, hang on. You've got to set your clock. You've got to get up. The same Lord that you're asking to meet your other needs has asked you for something. The same Lord that has asked you to meet 
or that, is, that you are asking to meet your other needs has asked you for something minor. What does he say? College of Islamic Studies at Hamad bin Khalifa University to the safe. 